Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. My name is Samaria. If you're new to my channel, make sure you smack that like, comment, and subscribe button. If you're coming back, welcome back, y'all. I'm looking mad crazy right now, y'all. Because I literally got up. Y'all, I had a flight this morning at like, um, what time was it? Like 5 something in the morning. So I had to be at the airport by 3 something. So I didn't even really go to sleep yesterday. But I got home and was like knocked up, freak out. So just got up to record this video for y'all. In this video, I'm basically going to be explaining what really happened between me and Dede. I'm not doing this because I feel like I owe anybody an explanation. I have a lot of supporters that was really curious about like what happened with me and Dede and what's going on with me and Dede, like an update on us. And I'm about to let y'all know. I'm not gonna sit here and tell y'all every single thing that went on behind the camera. Some things are just not meant to be said. And I share a lot with y'all, but I also don't share everything with y'all. So y'all only seeing what YouTubers allow y'all to see. Y'all only seeing what these content creators that y'all watch allow y'all to see. And there's so much more that goes on behind the scenes. <sighs> yeah, so Dede, he's a great guy. Like. A lot of stuff y'all seen on camera was legit. He He's very caring, he's very um, like truthful, very mature for his age, um, hardworking. Like there's a, he has a lot of good traits about him that I loved, like his communication skills. He actually helped me be able to communicate better. And I said this a lot in my past videos, if you was along during that period of my life. So, the things that went wrong, um, and I'm going to say this too, just because somebody is a good person does not mean they're the right person for you. And I say this all the time because I done got to a point where I'm so comfortable being uncomfortable and having these uncomfortable conversations and being able to make logical decisions not based off my feelings simply because I know in the past, my past relationship situationships, me making choices based off my feelings always led me down the wrong path or prolonged something that was gonna eventually happen anyways. So this is not my first rodeo. Like I said, I share what I wanna share on camera. Um, I, I didn't date nobody. I mean, I, I, didn't, I wasn't in a relationship outside of him, but I have dated before him I have dated people before him but I'm such a I don't want to waste my time I don't want to waste your time person that we had to do what was best for both of us so a general overalization that's probably not a word but it sounded like it was a word a general um conclusion a general thing I could say that happened was I started to lose myself so the people that's been following me for a long time if you're new here i don't like doing short relationships if i get in a relationship with somebody i plan on the relationship lasting a long time and i try my hardest to exhaust every option and try to make it work until unless i fully realize okay maybe we just not meant to be with each other so i started to lose myself in our relationship and like it would remind me of me losing myself when I was in my past relationship. So that's something that I done grew from and learned from so that I can use that in my future relationships so I don't make the same mistakes. Um, Dede was not okay with, he didn't care too much for how I dressed. He didn't care too much about like certain content I would do or being around like, like dudes and stuff like that. So it caused me to slowly like lose myself and it was like I was losing my purpose um I was so wrapped up in him and it started becoming him so it was just like I would go out there like every other month when me would go with her dad and be flying out there and staying with him and then he didn't want me to do certain content or like and he didn't want to do certain content, so it was hard trying to find videos to do out there with him, unless it was like vlogging, because he's not even really a YouTuber either. So it was just like my whole channel, every single one of my platforms had him on it. My Instagram, I would post him all the time, just because when I'm in a relationship, I love love. Like, I love to show off my man, and I know that people be thinking that a whole bunch of dudes be all over me because of my following, so I was like, to give him that reassurance that like, 
Like, I'm not trying to hide you. It's something everybody wants. Everybody wants the same thing for real. So I started doing that. He was on my Instagram. He was on my YouTube. Like, I started posting him. And it was most of my videos was regarding him. It was vlogs and just videos of him because I couldn't really do other videos other than like with Golden but it's just like I, we can only do so much because we can't sit here and keep pranking each other back to back to back because then it's just like we gonna expect it so then I would do videos with him so he was on my YouTube TikTok I was starting to do TikToks with him so it was just like my life was consumed with him and it wouldn't have even been bad if I could still work on my own stuff outside of him so like being able to do certain public videos or go collab with creators not like them having to be dudes but um i had stopped doing like one-on-one -on -one collabs with dudes but just out of the respect of obviously you shouldn't be doing that if you're in a relationship with somebody but a lot of stuff that i was already doing before the relationship it was slowly starting to change and i was trying to do it to to I did it to an extent where it was like I, I wasn't trying to fully lose myself but I was also trying to satisfy him and then it just started getting bad y'all um and then other things would happen behind the scenes of what I'm telling y'all now and I just took that from because I literally prayed about it and I was just like God like if this is not who I'm supposed to be with can you show me a sign like I was just praying like like Cause it just started getting to the point where we was arguing like every other day over small stuff. So then God would show me a sign y'all and it would be the randomest thing ever. Um, but I would ignore it. <laughs> I would ignore it. You know, when you stuck in that, like, okay, I want this to work. I don't want to have messed up again. And I don't publicly announce this dude. And with content creators it's different when you publicly like introduce somebody to your channel or platform It's so much bigger than in regular life because it's like dang like people know i'm dating you now and if we was to break up and i was to find somebody new it just looks like i'm just like getting relationships back to back so that's another reason i be so careful like with my platform and my daughter because i don't want to bring a lot of people um on my platform or whatever the case is so yeah so I really, we really exhausted every op option. We sat down like adults and had real conversations and talked about it. People think that we just like decided to just let it go. Like, no, this was a, a long process from even when we was talking. Um, he, this was his first real relationship. Like he's been in a relationship before, but his first real relationship where he didn't know a lot about like, um, relationship maturity stuff i want to say relationship maturity stuff um he was new to like affection and showing emotion and all of that stuff so y'all like i would literally i probably like y'all seen that post where they was like you sitting there crying and like he was one of them where he didn't really cry so it's like if i was sitting there crying he was just like trying to support me and console me or whatever and not cry i don't know he he smiled, but it wasn't like he smiled all the time. Like, I, I'd be so freaking, I don't know, just happy or smiling all the time. He'd be like, he'd be having a rest and bitch face sometimes. Even though he might be so happy under his rest and bitch face. So, it was just like, that will also, like, with, with the lack of him showing, like, and this is stuff that I'll bring up and he will work on. That's one, I, one thing I can't say about him. Everything I brought up, he would try to work on. But it's like I also don't want to feel like I'm just asking too much of him and, and feeling like he's not good enough. So I would I would tell him that, like, if I'm asking too much of you, just let me know, da-da-da. So, but yeah, he would um, start working on something else and then he would start, like, kind of slacking on, like, affection or something. Or, like, I would compliment him randomly just to, like, make him feel good or make his day and he wasn't used to doing stuff like that so like the reassurance i didn't feel like was all the way there for me and i'm just being 100 percent real with y'all because y'all y'all stand digging on me digging at me like like daddy was the one like he was so gentle with you like he was very gentle with me and he did i started really being attached to the qualities he possessed because it a lot of stuff was new to me and i learned so much from our relationship that and I told I let him know that too after even after we broke up I let him know like thank you for allowing me to learn more about myself and then he said like vice versa so it's like we're good we're not even bad 
but like I said everybody's just not meant to be together um and in the lack of like emotion and affection and the, the just I didn't feel like we was like one like I like deep connections and I feel like He's so used to keeping everything to himself and being by himself and dealing with stuff by himself. He couldn't really let me in. And then I had like trust issues from the past. So it was just like, I didn't feel like, feel safe really letting my guard completely down until I felt like I was safe in a relationship. So it was like, I'd rather us went ahead and did what we did then. And we ended without like an explosion and hating each other. Cause I don't like to hate nobody. I like to move with love and give off love. So it was just like, I felt like this was the best decision for us, just strictly out of being logical. Like, of course it's gonna hurt because this is attachment that you built with somebody that you would talk to every day. Like I would, I don't even really text nobody for real y'all. So even like my family, like our family group chats, I barely be in them. I don't even really like being on my phone. So the fact that I was texting this dude every day and being so like, what he posts today or um I miss him what he doing it just and then he's a d1 basketball player and uh I, if you've been in a long distance relationship with an athlete then you know how like stressful that is to just it's not like I didn't trust him but it's just like the the lack of will make me question and I'm such an overthinker I'll have to tell myself to stop overthinking like he isn't he not that type of dude but then little things would pop up that would make me think like just it it might happen like you never really know somebody for real and it was just it was just it was driving me crazy y'all it was literally driving me crazy like the the back and forth I would go through in my head every day and then I I really had to sit down and weigh out like like he makes me happy it's peaceful he's gentle with me you know how to communicate and then also like the the bads like oh I'm losing myself like I I'm slowly being consumed my whole life is like consuming him even people will comment on my old videos like when are you going to start posting other stuff again? Like, I just was posting him so much, especially on YouTube, because, like, I was trying to be consistent. But I was spending a lot of my time with him if I didn't have Mila. So, it's not good to lose yourself in a relationship, because that's when you really start tripping. Like, when I have my own stuff going on, and I can focus on what I got going on and growing, I'd be so happy. I can pour more into my relationship. I could be more happy in my relationship. But it's just, like, it's hard to do that being so consumed by your relationship and then just that's that's the the main thing I can say that happened in our relationship and I just want to let y'all know I would not just just leave somebody for no reason like I, I'm, I don't know if y'all just be thinking whatever y'all want to think but I'm very mature when it comes to dealing with people and being able to let things go that no longer serve me because I done already realized, came to the realization that everything is an experience and some experiences you got to enjoy them for what it is, take what you need to learn from the experience and move on so you can enjoy other experiences, not other experiences as in just people, but other experiences in life, like learning from experiences in life and we both like mid grind so it's like our chemistry was cool but our lifestyles did not connect like it did not clash and I just it slowly started making me feel like like I'm not the type of girl you want and I would literally tell him this y'all like I'm not the type of girl you want like cuz he like I said he really didn't like how I dress sometimes so like even me wearing this like little sundress or wearing leggings and a big t-shirt I mean wearing leggings and a t-shirt or, or it just like stuff like that he wasn't really okay with which it that's okay that is okay I never like knocked him for that not being okay for him or or the him not wanting me to be around dudes or I could just tell that it would bother him sometimes if like I went out with my best friend so it's just like you just gotta find somebody that's okay with the stuff that you already come with because it, it started making me feel like I can't completely just happily be myself and be accepted for 
me because you're not okay with so many things that I come with. And it's not like I just go out all the time. I'm not even like a party girl. It would be like every blue moon and he would act like, he would say he didn't have a problem with it, but I could kind of still feel like he had a problem with it. You know, like your intuition or just by the, the vibes of things or how somebody texting or talking, you could tell that it's still a problem even though they say it's not a problem. So I could just still feel it. So I didn't, I didn't, I wouldn't even want to go out no more at all. Like, so, and I tried my best to try to keep it healthy. I tried to ask him like when he needed more reassurance or ask him like trying to find a root of problems with things. And he, he tried to fix problems as well. Like I wasn't perfect in a relationship. Like I said, I started losing myself. It, it, would, it would cause me to trip, like not even trip, like spaz on him or nothing, but I would question him like. I just knew that we were stressing each other out, basically. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't want it to get so OD bad to where it's like we couldn't, we can't even, we have to go through that hating each other phase and, and all of that stuff. So yeah, that's that's basically what happened, y'all. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff y'all don't see off camera, even though I share so much on my channel. Like I share so much of my life on my channel. But there's also so much I don't share because I do social media, but I am not in social media as much as people might think I am. Um, and I'm very strategic. I think about a lot of the stuff that I post before I post it. Um, I'm still human, though, so I might like slip up here and there and post something that maybe I shouldn't have posted or wasn't in my best interest. But that's part of life. Part of life is messing up and learning from your mistakes and people just expect content creators to be perfect and live this perfectly life with perfect relationships and not have flaws not make mistakes and as soon as you make a mistake they throw it on a shade room or tea room or whatever and then make that your whole character like they judge you by that one mistake when people are going through life and making way more mistakes than you know but it's something you sign up for when you decide to be a content creator for anybody that's thinking about being one out there. Just a heads up. Um, but yeah, y'all, we are good. I I move with love. I give off love, and I don't want to do nothing but do that and show that I am very genuine about everything I do. I like to be the best at everything I do. Even when I was being in a relationship, y'all, like I like to be the best girlfriend that I can be just because... I don't want to give my nigga any reason to feel like he got to step outside of my relationship. I want him to trust me. I want him to be satisfied mentally, sexually, emotionally, ambitiously, whatever you can name it, y'all. I was trying to help him grow his platforms and give him ideas like, yeah, you can do this, da da da. Um, even though he's not really a social media dude. Um, and he did a lot of stuff by himself too, like to grow his own stuff. But um, I would do stuff like that, try to give him little ideas to help him um grow or like like washing his clothes and folding them and putting them away without him asking or cooking or or just other stuff that i probably can't say on camera but i was just really trying to be the best girlfriend or even supporting him like i would literally watch all of his games no matter what i was doing unless they wasn't airing it like i had paid 99 some dollars for the espn app for the whole year just to watch i don't even watch other sports like that for real but just to watch his games and i would listen to his games in the car i would listen to his games when i was going somewhere like i was trying to be so supportive like y'all y'all just don't know how hard I, I really did try to make this work and wanted this to work and then it's just like he didn't necessarily watch all my videos because, like I said, he wasn't really okay with certain content outposts. But he would watch my videos. He would try to his best to be supportive. Like, he's not a bad guy at all. It's just, I could tell when stuff would bother him. And I want the, my relationship to be very happy and beneficial for both people. Like, for me, of course, myself, because I'm practicing moving with self-love and being able to let things go without like necessarily doing it off of somebody else's feelings or putting other people's feelings before mine um but also theirs like i'm not sitting here if i'm even no matter how much i love you and i can't even fully feel like i can love you all the way and be a hundred percent if i'm feeling like 
it's not all the way like a safe space like i'm not all the way accepted in the relationship so it's just like i just i was just trying so hard i feel like and it was literally a mental battle like every other day or when we would argue like i was always praying for clarity and, and like my mind is so at peace right now and it's like you still have those moments where you miss certain things like i said this is somebody that i would talk to every day but i'm i'm good like i'm i'm so good in my solitude and i i took a lot of time after our breakup to be by myself and a lot of y'all don't know we started dating again like after we broke up initially publicly um we started dating again and did it privately and i was at even more peace with us doing it privately everything was going good but then god <laughs> god that's all i can say is god like y'all seen that post where it's like there's not going to be no peace in something that's not meant to be and i look at every i don't know if he do but i take everything as a sign like especially if it's some random stuff like and i just prayed about it i'm like that that was a sign bro because <sighs> little things were still starting to occur and then they was like piling on top of each other and at this point we're private so it's like it's not about being posted like me not feeling like i'm being posted a lot or it's not about none of that stuff other than me and you and this stuff is happening with me and you and it's just we gotta you know but we try to have in space to get ourselves together and try to bring it back together um but it, it just it wasn't working out y'all um this is probably gonna be my last time ever speaking on this because we are real people in real life and just like i have to move on with my life and learn how to you know when you get with somebody you start planning out your whole life with this person well i do because like i said i don't do short relationships like if i'm in a relationship um that's what i'm doing but when i'm not in a relationship then you know but yeah we be planning out like the whole relationship in our head and you gotta read plan out yo <laughs> replan out your life by yourself we gotta learn how to move on and grow from situations like and then me having to learn to grow and move on without carrying like negative thoughts or like i, I try to be positive about all things and I, I feel like some people take that as like i don't really care um or cold hearted or move on fast it's like it's it's not that at all i just the more you practice something, the easier it gets. So practicing being happy, even when you're sad and, and letting go of those negative feelings, it becomes a habit. And as people, we evolve. And I try to go get my process over with the, the fastest I can. So I sit there and go through my emotions. Y'all haven't seen the nights where I sit here and just sit with myself and have talks with myself and write in my journal and cry sometimes. Like, I'm human. So it's just like, he still has to be able to move on and not allow what we had to shut him off from loving again or whatever and i i try my best to because the world society and just a lot of negative and bad people done tricked everybody thinking when you say certain things or do certain things and it's not like a big reason why we broke up that oh you just saying that like just to to make it sound better like everything i say and do in general or like if if I'm saying, like, this is, I feel like this is what's best, is everything is so genuine. Like, I promise everything is coming straight from, I don't, I don't took it from my heart to my mind, back to my heart, and thought about it again, and thinking about the different ways a person might take it. Like, I'm, I'm an empathetic, I'm an empath, I'm, I'm an empathetic person. Like, I really care about how my words affect people, so I really try to say them in a way like this is comes in with knowing the personnel too and knowing how you should talk to them or to where they understand what you're saying so it don't lead to like frustration or miscommunication and i ask questions so it's just like we both have to move on after this and be good and it was never no no bad thing or me finding somebody outside of him or him finding somebody outside of me or like no really bad thing happened for us to stop messing with each other y'all um but yeah i ended up posting this because i had posted a video uh, i think it was yesterday uh i'm pulled up on kwan y'all know 
like I explained in that video how Shaq set us up on a blind date and I told him at the end of the video I used to be man da 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 but me and Quan are friends y'all like I feel like people see another dude and instantly like oh she's moving on this is about to be her next boyfriend or whatever the case is but I feel like this is just different because he's a content creator just like I'm a content creator so we both share portions of our life online like if I was to make a I have other guy friends not even guy friends as in like I go on dates or nothing with them but like Geo Shag like in general that I talk to sometimes and be like like yo what's good like we're hang me go in and our other friends would go hang out with them and it's just like guy friends and this is just somebody that was brought into my life that I I done started to get to know a little bit so it's just not it's not like we both moving on like let's be in a relationship with each other let's get to know each other so that we can get serious it's literally like we cool and we vibe and we chilling and, and just enjoying the moment and I feel like people just was instantly like oh she moving on fast so I'm not even that type of person anyways like I'm gonna go with the flow and if it feels right then you know so yeah y'all that's pretty much the end of this video i hope this explained a lot to y'all and gave some people some closure some clarification like i said i still want what's best for him and hope that he get everything he want out of life um and i'm pretty sure he would want the same thing for me and he would say the same thing to me but um i love y'all make sure y'all smack that like comment and subscribe button Stay tuned for future content, y'all, because it's about to get litty. It's about to get litty like a titty. I have some more good videos coming for y'all, actually. Um, but I love y'all. Make sure y'all smash that like, comment, subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in my next video. I do good, I know.